properly. Okay, so <clears throat> today we are going to read the Murli, Abhyakt Murli, dated 21st December 1978, titled The Form, The Line of Fortune, and The Time of the Souls, who remain very close throughout every cycle. <clears throat> that is the root. Rekha, Bhagya Rekha, and the Vela. If you ask, these are the keywords. Rup, <coughs> that is form, line of fortune, that is Rekha, <coughs> Bhagya Rekha, and the Vela, the time of the souls who remain very close throughout every cycle. This Murli is a large Murli. And therefore, we have uh, uh, divided this Murli into three parts. Today, we shall be taking the first part. <clears throat> In the first part of the Abhyakt Murli, Baba has asked, you know, Baba is first of all looking at what uh, form Baba is looking Are we children, <clears throat> Baba is looking at our form, our line of fortune, and the time <clears throat> of we making Purusharth at this confluence age. So, <clears throat> what, how Baba is looking at us, you know, that is very important. The way we look at ourselves may differ from person to person, soul to soul, based on the stage of that soul. However, <clears throat> Baba is, Bab Dada is always at the <clears throat> most elevated stage. So from that stage, how do we look like? You know, that's a very important question which Baba has. It's very, <clears throat> we must understand how Baba sees <clears throat> our form, our uh, fortune, line of fortune, and our how Baba evaluates our time. <clears throat> how important is this time? Okay, so uh, let's, uh, before we start reading, let's all be <clears throat> seated in the stage equal to Bab Dada in complete silence inside, looking inwards, focusing on our original form, eternal form, and invoking Bab Dada and experiencing him in a second, Bab Dada is in right in front, inside this hut of remembrance in between the eyebrows. Okay, let's go. Today at Amrit Vela, so Bab Dada starts speaking. Today, <coughs> just visualize this. Today at Amrit Vela, while seeing and celebrating a sweet meeting with the children in all four directions, Bap and Dada were discussing one thing in particular. What were they discussing? They were looking, <coughs> so Bap Dada, what were Bap Dada discussing? They were looking at the form of the divine birth of every child. And also the time, <coughs> that is, the moment of their birth. The form and the particular time of the birth. The present confluence aged life and the future golden life of each of the children. are based on the time and the form of their birth.
what did bab dada see as the as their form so coming to the form visualize what is bab dada's drishti or the vision of our form that's which is a true form from the moment they means children were born they had a sparkle of power of shakti <coughs> that is having previously been separated sikhi lada bio they received the fortune of being connected that is yoga once again so there are two stages baba described one is vyog and other one is yoga <coughs> vyoga is disconnected separated and yoga is connected again be connected so they had the form of being thirsty and eager for knowledge of serving <coughs> and from the moment they came they also had the form of super sensuous joy what lines of fortune came with that that of being a bestower of blessings of having courage and enthusiasm and of moving along on the basis of receiving cooperation from the moment of birth so let's take a pause here and see <coughs> our true form and also the line of fortune of being a bestower of blessing for a moment and then we can we will resume So we all saw how Baba looks at us, the form and the line of fortune, <clears throat> that of being a bestower of blessings, of having courage and enthusiasm among Yadutsa, and of moving along on the basis of receiving cooperation from the moment of birth. In the same way, Baba was also looking at the time. Time is also an important element of three things which decide the birth. the fortune so the time whether your intellect had faith within a second whether your intellect had faith within a second and chart to which baba said whether you developed faith after taking the seven days course or whether you took longer than that whether your intellect had faith of after battling between faith and doubt <clears throat> or whether you are still battling as you move along very deep <laughs> reflections baba has shared with we children so let's all see which <clears throat> which is applicable to because it will vary for every soul to soul so which one is applicable to us <clears throat> to have faith in a second now baba is explaining <clears throat> means to be amongst those who are taken beyond with just a glance in split second <clears throat> soul goes beyond this body beyond the body positions beyond the sound the second number is of those who are taken beyond by <clears throat> elevated words but that has to speak some words then only that soul experiences that <coughs> beyond stage the third number is of those who die alive after finding out the value of the businessman's bargain they we what will i benefit and all from baba and then <coughs> they evaluate the options and then they die alive. 
The fourth number is of those who, on the basis of their little attainments, love <coughs> connections and transformation. Please pardon my throat. <coughs> there is some <coughs> issue there. So, I have faith one moment and doubt in the next moment. They keep struggling. One moment faith, other moment doubt. The next moment faith, the next moment doubt. So today, Bap and Dada both were looking at and discussing all these aspects of you children as to whether you are dying alive, life, marjiva, janam, jivan is one of being constantly free from obstacles, of being a constantly intense effort maker, of being a constant embodiment of experience through your attainments. Whether you are leading a life of making effort or whether you are leading a life where you are constantly going up and down like a swing or like a <coughs> kshatriya. The basis of all these three types of life is the form, the line of fortune and the time. Do you know the form, line of fortune and time that is Vela of the souls who remain extremely close and multi-million times fortunate? Not only this cycle, every cycle. This is a question question which Baba Bab Dada has asked each one of us. So do you know, children, my children, my dear children, do you know the form, line of fortune and time of the souls who remain extremely close and multi-million times fortunate every cycle? Such souls came and belonged to the father within a second. <clears throat> On the basis of the touchings they received of their fortune in the previous cycle, they will experience from birth that they don't have to become Brahmins, but that they were Brahmins previously and are also that now. They would have a feeling of belonging within a second. It's kind of a chartku. The moment they saw Baba, they recognized him. What would be the form and line of fortune of those who took that much time? Now, again, Number, Baba is asking, what would be the form and line of fortune of those that took that much time? What would be the form of those who are in the first number as related just now? From the moment of their birth, they received the first number, the moment of their birth, they received the right to all the property, that is spiritual property. Similarly, they received the right to experience each and every form. Also, they received the right to experience each and every form. Just as a whole tree is latent in the seed, invisible in the seed, in the seed, incognito in the seed, so too the foremost souls, the souls who are close to the father, the souls who came during the number one period would experience the treasure of all forms of attainment as soon as they came. They would experience that form to be their original form. To experience <coughs> happiness and not peace or to experience peace and not happiness or power is not the experience of those who come in the first period or the first number. They claim a right to their inheritance within a second. This is their time and their form. Now Baba is uh, asking a question. What would be their line of fortune? They would not have the slightest thought as to whether their intellect already has faith or whether they still have to develop faith. But they would have the line of fortune of their intellect having natural faith from the moment of birth. Underline the word natural natural faith. <clears throat> they don't have to make effort or, or time, take time to develop that faith. They will have, the intellect will have natural faith. 
they would not go into the details of how or in this way or that way, but would naturally have the faith. They would have no questions as to how to develop faith. Other souls too would clearly be able to see the line of unbroken faith throughout their whole lives. Other souls will also be able to see and experience the unbroken faith, natural faith throughout their whole lives. Line of their line, fortune of faith would be constant and not broken and every now and then. So it will not be dependent on the situation or the external influence. It will be constant, the line of fortune. The tilak of victory would be constantly visible on the forehead of such souls of number one. That is in the consciousness of those who have such a line of fortune. Just as the future form of a Brahmin as portrayed in the picture of Sri Krishna is of one who has a crown from the moment of birth, so too from the moment of birth those who have this fortune would have the crown of responsibility, of service and would be constantly playing that role of uh, service with the jewels of knowledge. <clears throat> Such souls would be leading lives in which they are constantly swinging in the swings of remembrance and happiness. Atindriya, Sukh or Yad. In every act they perform, they would constantly experience the hands of blessings over them. In every activity throughout the whole day, they would experience the company and closeness uh, with Bab Dada in all relationships and also experience the company <coughs> in the corporeal form while playing the parts. They would be easy and natural yogis. They don't have to make effort. It will be easy and natural yogis means connection with Bab Dada. These are the signs of those who are number one in the form, line of fortune and time. Now check yourself. How many would there be in the first <coughs> number, form, line of fortune and time? Eight or 108. Which number does each of you have? You can call, you can still change it even now, Baba says, at this conference <coughs> age, at this moment of time, if we see that our, my number is not in the first number, then I can still change it. I have that choice with me. So, those of you, Baba says, you can still change it even now. Those of you who have come last can go fast and come first. There is still room for transformation. Transformation, the form, <coughs> we can still change our form. The, <coughs> the too late board has not yet been put up. Incognito effort makers, those effort makers with single minded determination day and night can take this high jump. Therefore, take a chance in the lottery of making a word to make your fortune the foremost fortune and you might win it. So this is a lottery. Baba says, take a chance in the lottery of making a word. Do you understand what you have to do? This is your ch last chance. Baba says, <coughs> this choice remains with us and we must take this last chance. Therefore, let the past be the past and make your future elevated. This is why Bab Dada is still giving everyone a chance. Don't complain afterwards and say that you could have done it, but didn't do, didn't do it because you didn't have the chance or didn't have the time or because the circumstances weren't right. Even now the hand of mercy of the merciful Father is over everyone. We all can experience that. Therefore, have mercy on yourself, each one of ourselves, 
ಹೋಗಿ <coughs> to those who have had a crown from their moment of birth like lord krishna to the children who are constantly seated on the heart throne bab dada's love remembrance and namaste and we children also who constantly experience the supreme father's hand of blessings over ourselves we who have mercy on ourselves as well as others we constant yogis who have a constant and unbroken line of faith in our intellects and who have constantly have a tilak of victory and we have a crown from our moment of birth we children also express our love remembrance and namaste to bab dada thank you baba so <clears throat> next part we'll take it uh, later uh, tomorrow Uh, part two. So, what Pap Dada has shared, let's reflect upon and ask pertinent questions to ourselves, and also what Pap Dada, <coughs> what we can pledge to Pap Dada today. We can all share. Om Shanti. Thank you. Om Shanti, so coming back to the reflection phase of the Murli session, I would invite every member of the Divine Family to share at least one reflection based on today's Murli, today's part of the Murli. Today's Murli is actually a reflection of the early days of being in Gyan, especially when Baba says that whether you you know god nishchay buddhi at the very first moment or it was like an it was oscillating between doubt and faith and whether it took you a longer period to look at having complete nishchay buddhi and I, what i was getting was the period from where i first did raj yoga and then uh, revisited the course after few years until then i was in that oscillating stage of between faith and doubt and uh, that whole uh, thing that whole experience of so many years came back and the intoxication of what how life has turned around after having complete nishchay buddhi is what i was present to and i think that's the point that i want to be in an intoxication from this moment onwards om shanti yeah wonderful experience sister <laughs> and that's what is the in the we have you know we can share others may also share their experience because that's something which baba has described the moments of birth how we took birth and what was what were the 
how it like what were the three jo, three important and uh, that is one there's a form the line of fortune and the time <clears throat> we can express in our own ways our experiences we can all recall the moment we <clears throat> realized we recognized, recognized baba and it took some time in my if you i may share i also uh, uh, like uh, <clears throat> someone introduced me to gyan and you know i mean <clears throat> took me to the center in lonavala and where by i went there <clears throat> in that was 31st december <clears throat> and uh, it was a new year celebration and they uh, it was midnight just few minutes before <clears throat> it was the beginning of the new year so that time we were meditating om and in the <clears throat> om dhoni i could experience the supreme power and it was a lucky kind of thing it was which was like never could not be expressed <clears throat> and then <clears throat> i was told to become a uh, you know mahadev uh, in um, mela which is there in lonavala every year shivratri mela so soon after that i was made mahadev and you know i was told to sit there and you know give keep like offering blessings to everyone everyone used to come all uh, all bhakt atma then they used to go down and i used to be still <clears throat> for hours together that was another experience which took me to you know beyond okay I, there's something you know <clears throat> which who who am i i'm not able to understand who am i and then the course began so our it took few years for me to <coughs> you know have complete faith in baba as uh, sister rakhi has uh, shared <coughs> similar thing was mine also it took few years and uh, it, you know from 2004 to 2010 i was also oscillating because i was engrossed in my lockic roles uh, you know <coughs> i used to go in a ship and all that and uh, the life is little tough in military so uh, i could not continue wherever we used to touch the port we used to i used to go to murli sessions and uh, but otherwise i was uh, not able to be in touch with the murli <clears throat> so 2010 the complete faith came and when i i was it was bliss you know i was uh, it was ecstatic i i can't express that feelings when i realized that it nice baba with complete faith so others may also please share and from there i continue i'm continuing the journey and i uh, every experience is a divine experience you know there's no end to the depth to which one can go baba is like ocean ocean of love i would request Uh, each member to share the form, the line of fortune, and the time of the soul of the soul when you took birth, or how was the journey in deeply. Om Shanti. Okay. Which is my yeah. yeah. <coughs> so uh, here, uh, I I like this uh, you know point that Baba said. You know those who uh came. Uh, last right can still go fast but margin is still there so often when somebody comes in knowledge will have that feeling right that i came late especially when they realize baba right they feel that oh i am too late but here uh, in this murli baba clearly uh, says that you know um, uh, you still have margin if you would like to go far go fast and then take the first number you can still do it but baba is giving that chance and baba is also giving a warning that this is your last chance and then don't complain after that saying you have, you have not got enough chance so um you know uh in a way that we are showing mercy to ourselves right so um so in that note um my uh, take away would be just to see how much i have progressed um from the day i started and until now 
I feel a lot of change. I'm finding it very interesting. Loving the journey. Continuing. Thank you, Baba. Thank you for sharing that. Uh, that everybody stands a good chance to come first. First number. Which Baba described in so many ways. The first qualities of the first number souls. And uh, if I can give example of the lock example, uh, there we have like a police service. You have, we have various, <coughs> you know, uh, DSPs and all that, deputy superintendent of police and all, and the, who rise, you know, to take a lot of years to come to that stage. And then they become DSPs and, you know, <coughs> however, there is an IPS, Indian Police Service, where the uh, person uh, directly enrolls as an officer as IPS and then he can <laughs> rise up to IG <coughs> you know and uh, DGs so uh, you see uh, the number of years which uh, direct officer entry will take is uh, less number of years to become to come to that form final form of being able to serve others in a more powerful position whereas for the uh, below officers they will take a lot of time to you know uh, uh, but uh, the, the chance is always there for the new souls who have joined. They can, uh, they will prepare more. They will uh, put more uh, concentrated, concerted efforts, and uh, get uh, into the uh, for the final form to a uh, you know direct entry or the to a special competitive exams. So <clears throat> here also it is similar thing. A person who may it doesn't matter when. The soul came into Gyan, how many years the soul is in Gyan. Doesn't matter at all. If the soul could have been in Gyan from 2023 only, and but he, is, he or she, that soul has put in extra efforts to qualify for that competitive exam, Maya, and come into that acre stage, now only with that utmost determination and utmost commitment and all relationships with Baba, Automatically, that soul will be in powerful position, more powerful position, in fact, in some cases, than the soul which is in so many years of Gyan. So it's completely the final form, fit and function, what decides the soul's uh, number. Others may also please share their views. Om Shanti. <coughs> Om Shanti. Everybody is quiet. Gijja sister, like to share? <coughs> Om Shanti. So which are the questions which Baba has uh, asked each one of us to ask ourselves? What are these questions like? Any one question? Various questions Baba has asked, or how Baba has described the number one stage, first number stage. What are the characteristics of the stage who are in the first number? What are like, uh, what was Baba speaking about yoga and yoga? That the first characteristics. The moment the so children will be born, they will have. Uh, what kind of characteristics do at the time of birth? Like Lord Krishna, no? Baba is compared with that birth with the Lord Krishna birth. So what are the characteristics of the birth of the souls of the first grade or the first number? Because we all are first numbers. So let's discuss only the first number. First thing Baba says is you will get present to your original form. Yes, yes. Original form is what? Incorporeal form is the original form. Anything, even our my own mind, my own intellect and sun stars, they are number two. I'm still struggling with my own mind. I'm still struggling with my own intellect and my own 63 birth sun stars. So that will put me to number two, not number one. So number one is even beyond, going beyond these three inner faculties also. And 
in <coughs> closeness with the supreme in corporate baba what are the other characteristics of number 1 how about uh, the experience or the feelings of joy when the souls take birth in the confluence age the brahmin's life new life what will be the feelings of number one soul our sesna super sensuous joy like hope and copies So I think we can. Uh, any Demon. more stories from anyone? Yeah, please. Became an inheritance within a second. Yeah, that's a very important aspect. That power, feeling that power within a second. That's I. I gave example of IPS and the, uh, in the police service. IPS feels powerful. IES feels powerful. The moment he gets selected, he or she gets selected, that he feels that top of the world. That's. He he feels all the power in his or her hand. Now he can make a difference. He can serve, <clears throat> which will make an impact on the society, on the nation. <clears throat> Similar thing is here. The moment <clears throat> you experience the inheritance, that power, the rights to everything, every property of Baba, you will feel empowered. You will feel on top of the world. What about the <clears throat> intellect? Baba said something about intellect. Will the intellect? Intellect. Yeah. Some questions should not. Yeah. Should be fake. Right. So, uh, uh, so if you think about this faith, so um, some people develop the faith um, at the early stage, whereas others uh, develop it a bit slow. What could be the reason? Uh, one that I was thinking, one reason would be that some people, as soon as they uh, come into knowledge, right, they spend more time to understand what uh, what this is all about, right? The history and geography, how this all started. And in that journey, uh, and in that journey, and also um, the, the, the experience that they get in that journey. So that would be the reason for many to uh, to reach that faithful stage. Okay, early. So it depends on one uh, putting effort to understand all this. But if you take uh, Brahma Baba, right? He um, the the moment he heard right from Shri Baba that um, it is Jananda uh, Sarodam, um, right? So uh, when we got the introduction of uh, Shri Baba, uh, from Shri Baba itself, right? Uh, at that moment itself, Brahma Baba had that complete faith. And uh, every uh, and ever since he lived uh, as an example for everyone, right? He never had a second thought. So uh, that... Uh, actually describes right the the quality of that soul, and uh, if we think of other souls, right, it takes um uh, it takes time. So um, uh, this is what my understanding is why it takes time is because um in order to build a faith, right, so we need to take a deeper dive to understand what is all about, right, and when the knowledge when we put across all knowledge and when we start living with it, it connects all, right? It connects the dot and then we, we feel, yeah, this is the truth. And we start experiencing as we continue with the journey. And that's when many build that faith, isn't it? Is there any other aspect of how people build um, the faith? Uh, immediate faith, how the immediate faith is created. Uh, oh, my. Yeah, anyone would like to share a uh, very wonderful uh, reflection which Bhaiji has shared. Uh, I would request uh, 
anyone has uh, want to contribute in this uh, what decides the uh, time form line of fortune and the time at the moment of birth what decides the faith quality of the faith what are the characters uh, what what are the factors one factor which is vijay shared are there other factors <clears throat> Oh, I will uh, till the time uh, people other other members can just think of some view uh, inputs. I would share one input while you were speaking. <coughs> uh, uh, that uh, the past <laughs> births also matter, uh, uh, which is beyond area which which is, which is beyond our influence our control. Uh, that past birth, uh, the soul would have already, you know, attained that uh, stage that bhakti. and uh, done at most bhakti with complete faith and this birth the soul has just come uh, with that complete uh, that uh, refinedness of uh, uh, faith in the intellect and then the trigger moment will take <laughs> take the soul to that quality of the faith and second factor is which is in our control is uh, the uh, the future form <clears throat> at this moment this is our present form each one of us as as a present form at this right right at this moment now what's the future form and the future form is nothing but what bab dada is seeing our each of our children forms that is a future form and bab dada always looks at the most elevated form of the children so that form that is a future form and this present form am i able to see together am i able to <coughs> see at, at this moment both the forms and that's what Bab, brahma baba <coughs> that made a difference brahma baba <coughs> could see the future form very clearly crystal clear that i am uh, am chaturbhuj tatvam or am so so ham he could see very clearly mahita i was this lord vishnu which which i could see my future form very clearly or krishna which you know banunga that lord krishna he could see that birth so that's that made the difference as uh, in my view that that second factor others may also be share om shanti and uh, if you look at it na brahma baba initially didn't have full knowledge right as we know the uh, subtle world part was also not clear uh, to brahma baba and uh, but yeah, still slowly, <laughs> gradually the knowledge became clear and that yeah he had spent a lot of time in ekant no in correct <laughs> correct now <laughs> if, uh, if you look at it somebody coming uh, today into this knowledge they have all the uh resources available uh ready made available mm. if they have time they can take deep dive into it and understand the whole history geography uh, in a year to year or two right um, and then experience it so in that way they will understand how this is such a um true knowledge and absolutely which is why absolutely and this is in our control what right. past birth is not in my control not anybody's control but this birth when i have understood when the all treasures and knowledge are available and bab dada is in front of me you know even brahma baba in a vet form is with me who has you know shown us the way we can just follow him and so that's what is the internal churning and these right questions have to be asked by every soul so vijay bhai can we move on to <clears throat> meditation if no one else has any reflection or sharing uh, because of the uh, time we can just uh take up a meditation for a minute vijay bhai would you sure. like to do the meditation conduct the one minute meditation session before we wind up based on today's part of holy would you try it? um yeah please do it one minute huh? and if uh, and there after i will i i see uh, uh, dr jitna unmuted uh, sister would you like to share something yeah brother shall i share yes yeah, please. please please okay um 
I will accompany Babdada throughout my life as father, teacher, Sadhguru, mother, friend or child in different situation of my life. It was on 1st January 2021 I started to hear the knowledge. Thereafter I experienced extra power in my life and also I felt difficult. Uh, what I felt difficult can attain easily with the blessing of Baba. Shanti. Very nice. A very beautiful sharing, Dr. Jitna Ven. That, that's why we, each one of us are the first number quality souls. There's no doubt in my anybody's mind. So we all have these beautiful experiences. We, we always share, you know, I on the, uh, this during the Moody sessions, we have come across each one of our sharings in some day or the other. So now, Vijay Bhai you please can uh, we conduct a one minute uh, meditation session before we uh, conclude. Om Shanti. Yeah, yeah, sure. Um, so I'll give some thoughts and we all will sit in silence and we will visualize this back in our mind. So let's stabilize and in our original form, point form, merging all thoughts and experiencing Bhapta the sand over our head. Having a heart heart conversation with the Father and Father is giving me direction To live not just the day but the life. And this direction is the mercy that I show to myself. and also to others. Let me take a while to experience Baba's hand over my head and feeling the vibration and the current flowing through that hand, over my head, into my, into this point. In my mind, I see uh, the screen where Baba, Dada, and I, the child, standing beside him as a child. Little one. And the father standing beside me. And a side and a side over my head. A child and a father. Oh, 
hope shanti thank you vijit bhai for that wonderful uh, experiential meditation session and uh, so let's today take the homework of uh, asking pertinent question and visualizing our true form original form the original line of fortune and the original or the eternal time how significant is this time and in this moment i am making my elevated most elevated fortune for the entire cycles all the cycles so with that homework let's all meet tomorrow at 5 am till such time have a wonderful day in connection with bab dada experiencing the super sensuous place and joy om shanti thank you baba thank you divine family om shanti